Relative effects can be focus, color, or linear based. For this example, let's look at a focus effect. We're gonna go back into our effect tab. We're gonna create effect 12, enter. Remember the bottom three choices, focus, linear, and color, are all subtypes of relative effects. For this example, we're going to create a focus effect. Our focus effect is going to follow the drawing on the graph. So let's create a new one. We want to use our edit soft key, which is S1. We're gonna get rid of this circle, S3, to clear. And now using our mouse, we're going to draw a picture. Since I love effects so much, I'm going to draw a heart. There we go, that's mostly a heart. I'm gonna click apply or use my first soft key. Now if I go back into live and I select group 12, turn that on. We're gonna start in focus palette two again. And we're going to apply effect 12. Now since we have a spread grouping, it's kind of difficult to see our shape that we made. So from our effect tab, let's change our grouping to one. And now you can see that these fixtures are mimicking the heart-like object that I drew. Since it's a relative effect, those fixtures are going to rotate around the center point of focus palette two, which is the man standing upstage center. If we change that focus palette, we can also change where the effect is running. So if we change group 12 to focus palette three, it will still make its heart shape, but centered around a different point. In this case, the actor downstage left. To stop that from running, I can say group 12, effect, enter.